Hey guys, you've seen me catch a lot of big, beautiful trout like this on video. Why don't you join me on the water? Book a trip with the Kel Kellogg School of Fish and Guide Service, and I will put you on the fish, and I'll teach you how to catch them yourself. We're going to be guiding at Collins Lake this fall aboard the beautiful FHS patio boat. Go on over to fishhuntshoot.com and book your trip now, and we'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. I'll see you there, guys. Copper, uh, copper cast master. Wow, that was almost instant. I put on that copper cast master on the surface and wham. Wow, didn't expect that to happen that fast. I was going 1.9 miles an hour. Fish. Putting up, a, putting up a great fight. Feisty rainbow. There, woohoo! Give him an attitude adjustment. He's going home for dinner. Ow! There we go. You whack that copper cast master. There we go. Trigger spoon, trigger spoon magnum, trigger spoon pros, trigger spoon juniors, speed spoons, speed spoon pros. Looking for spoons for your trout fishing adventure? Think FHS Spoons. You can check them out at fishhuntshoot.com. Kel Kellogg here. I've had a couple recurring questions. One has to do with trolling speed and the other one has to do with lure color. And those are really two different subjects. I'm gonna, I'm gonna handle them in kind of two, two different parts of this same video shooting session. Let's start off with lure color. And, and let me just kind of make a global statement before I get into some colors and I'll break out some lures here in a second. Um, fishing with confidence, okay? It's real tempting to have every lure and every color and man, when I was fishing out of a big heavy aluminum boat, I used to have a whole bunch of compartment boxes and they were just stuffed full of lures and in reality, I just use a few of them, but it, it made me feel good having all those lures. So. The point of this is get yourself some, some, some lures that you have confidence in or get some lures and build confidence in a few of those lures and also start to build confidence in some different colors and color patterns. And uh, what I found, this is all I'm carrying these days. I had a pair of my stuff down. This is, a, uh, this is just a compartment box from, uh, from Home Depot. It's one of those two-sided deals. I mean, I don't have a ton of room in the kayak, so I'm rolling with this box, and it's pretty stuff full of stuff. And I have a box of flies. That's pretty much all I have. I have some Dodgers and stuff in my pack. I've also got some Dodgers in, in, in this box. But this is my go-to stuff, and you know what? I haven't felt undergunned whatsoever fishing out of the kayak. So let's talk lure colors. So let me grab one out of here. Let me grab a couple lures out of here. Oh, uh, let's see. Here's a... Wow. That's a tangled mess. Okay. I just grabbed a Yozuri because it's the, kind of the color of the lure I want. Like there's a plane going by. Anyway, I fish a lot of lower, kind of lower to middle elevation lakes, reservoirs. Most of those reservoirs have a forage base that either consists of threadfin shad or Japanese pond smelt or both. So as a result, I mean, I have a long fly fishing background, so I am a match the hatch guy. I go with, with lures like this. It's a Yozuri Elmino. You notice it's got the dark back, the silver flank. It does have a little bit of bright color on the, on the belly, but this is a bait fish pattern lure. And whether I'm going with spoons or plugs, I really like to match that bait fish pattern hue. Dark on the top, shiny on the sides, light on the belly. And that usually works. That's what the fish are dialed in to eat. They eat shad, they eat pond smell. When I pick out a spoon or a fly or a hoochie, whatever I'm running, I start out with those colors and I'm usually not disappointed. Now, the high mountains, that's a whole nother thing. I'm not saying that these, these chrome hued bait fish patterns won't work in the high country because they absolutely will, but I prefer to go with 
the bright stuff. Stuff like this. This is a little flatfish. You notice it's got a bright red belly. It's kind of a crawfish pattern. Or better yet, one of the one of the really uh, wow, those are really tangled. <laughs> Something just super bright like that, like that plug right there. The thinking goes like this: up in the high mountains, the primary forage at most of those lakes is some sort of insect. It might be damselflies. It might be uh, mayflies. Whatever it is, the fish aren't tuned in to chasing two-inch long shiny minnows. So you're not going to imitate a size 16 mayfly nymph with a spoon or a plug or any, any of that stuff. So what we're trying to do up there is trigger a reaction strike. And I like to do that by using something bold and bright. In fact, one of my favorite lures in the high country, it might actually be tied on one of my rods, but let me see if I can find one here, is the... Well, gosh darn it, it's not here, but this is, this is close. I really like an orange cast master, or in this case, a bright orange speedy shiner. Now, some guys, man, that's a beautiful lure. It's bright orange, got some spots on it. Some guys like to run the fire tiger stuff up at the high elevation lakes. Um, some, some guys like to go with the chartreuse stuff. That's just a matter of confidence. They go with the chartreuse stuff because they use it time after time and they often catch fish on it. I run with the orange stuff. If that's not working, I get a little more subtle. I go with the brass stuff like this. Uh, this is a prime example. This is a, this is a brass and red cast master. Um, I might be running that. I might be running a brass and red cripple lure from Shasta Tackle slash Max Lure. Stuff like that. But I really believe in the reds, the oranges, up in the high country where the fish are feeding in insects and I'm just trying to, to trigger a reaction strike. Now, another question, probably the final question that comes up in relation to colors is the conditions. And I'm talking about the light level and the water conditions. Honestly, I don't put a lot of thought into using bright colored lures in stained water because all your salmonoid fish, your trout, your salmon, they rely a great deal on their lateral line. They can feel a lure moving through the water. So I don't think color's a super big factor when the water's stained. I, I pretty much go with the same selections I'd go with in non-stained water. Um, but you know, I experiment, but by and large, use the same color lures. Early and late, and when the skies are overcast, I have noticed that I do do significantly better with dark colored lures. I like to run the, the, the dark pattern spoons. Um, do I have one right here? No, probably have one on the other side of the box. The big one that I do have that I've done really good on. The, this is a prime example of a dark conditions lure, dark condition lure. This is a black flatfish. It has a few spots on it, but by and large, it's black. Just something about that dark silhouette against a dark sky really seems to trigger strikes. I think the fish can, can get a really distinct view of the lure above them, and uh, it, it works well. So black spoons, um, black humdingers, uh, dark colored plugs, frog pattern lures. I've convinced frog pattern lures work well on overcast days and early and late in the day simply because they're one of the darkest color lures in our tackle boxes. So let's review that real quick. Um, down at low elevation lakes, lots of bait fish. I like to run bait fish colored stuff. Up in high elevation lakes where the predominant forage is insects, I like to go with the bright stuff and try to trigger some strikes just out of curiosity. Um, Dark conditions, I think call for a dark lure. Stained water conditions, I'm pretty much running with the standard stuff I'd run with in clear water conditions. And uh, don't forget, if the going gets real tough and you don't know what to put on, thread a night crawler, put it behind some blades, and you're pretty much gonna catch some rainbows anywhere you fish. Anyway, I hope that clears things up a little bit. Um, I'll be back with more talk about lure color in the future, but uh, for now, Fish with confidence, get out on the water. That's the most important factor in catching fish, getting out on the water. And I will catch you next time.